I'm back to show you my morning routine. So this is the routine that I do every morning no matter what happens, um, no matter how late I stay out, I always do this routine and it makes my day so much more productive. And it's the only way I start my day. So I usually wake up around 6 a.m. every day or I try to. No matter what, my morning routine takes about an hour. So I just have to wake up an hour before anything I have to do, whether it's a meeting or um, a delivery going to the post office. As long as you give yourself an hour before you have to be productive, you'll be great. What you do first is give yourself a moment of silence. You meditate, you can pray, which I do, or you can just simply breathe and just feel every single limb of your body relax. Next, you're gonna do affirmations. What affirmations are, are just speaking out into the atmosphere, things that you wanna believe about yourself, things that you want to, to work on with yourself, or things that affirm who you are, that you just need to remind yourself every now and then. So when you say these things out loud, it has more power, and you remember them better, and you can act on them. The four basic affirmations that I think everyone should out loud are from a book that I read called The Four Agreements by Miguel Ruiz. So the first affirmation would be, be impeccable with your word. So you would say this out loud. Speak with integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. You really don't understand how powerful your words are. The next affirmation is don't take anything personally. Nothing others do is because of you. What others say and do is a projection of their own reality. Very last affirmation is always do your best. Your best is gonna change from time to time, in moment to moment. It will be different when you are healthy as opposed to sick. Under any circumstance, simply do your best and you will avoid self-judgment, self-abuse, and regret. Try to always do your best. How you do something is how you do everything, is what I always tell myself. So I always, in any situation, even if it's nothing benefiting me, I always try to do my best. So I do my affirmations for about five minutes. After about five minutes of affirmations, you switch on over to visualization. So what visualization is, is just looking at either a um, vision board that you created or either planning out your day as far as a schedule, but it has to be something that you can physically look at and physically see. So for example, I have my vision board here that I made like a year ago out of old magazines and Word document quotes that I created. Um, and it has various things that just represent me and who I want to be. So for example, this article right here is of Fanny Bourdette, which works for um, Dior, and she's living her dream job. And of course, you know I'm into fashion and merchandising, so this article really inspires me. This little quote, which means a lot, is black females are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in the US, and that was written by the Forbes. So, those are the things that I put on my vision board. The visualization lasts for about five minutes. Next, I go to writing. So what I do is I have a journal, this is really just a $5 journal from CVS that I picked up, and I just write. I write whatever's on my mind. Whatever's here that I need to get out into the world, I write it here. Whether I'm sad, whether I'm emotional, whether I'm happy, whether I have a new idea, just write. Next, I read. You're actually supposed to read for 15 minutes because it's you want to get at least one or two chapters done. Final thing is exercise. And I do this thing on YouTube. <laughs> called eight minute abs and you just you just YouTube eight minute abs and I'll put it the link down below. So after I work out for about 20 minutes it's time to get ready. So I brush my teeth, I take a shower, I get ready. 